see of fashion demics on um twitter um he posted this clip which is an excerpt of tyler the creator speaking to fast company about his golf le fleur brand or his golf le fleur yeah brand you'd say right or project that he's currently pursuing and obviously the launch of his fragrance he did a cool little pop-up shop on some um, hollywood hill mountain top place looked amazing um he had these vintage rolls royce there invited all his cool friends you know m notable names like jay-z andre 3000 and a few other people were there in attendance and it just seemed to be in my opinion the perfect combination of what he's been trying to do as a creative as an artist um as just a person living in the world at the moment everything he's kind of been doing from the moment he kind of burst onto the scene to now has basically led to this moment and i think it's a perfect representation of where he's at and i think it's a perfect platform for him to kind of do bigger and better things maybe apart from what he was doing previously with the, the other brands and the other iteration approach he had going forward it's probably the most mature version of tyler's vision we've seen so far maybe the most palatable to the general consumer even though i still think it stands out really a lot from the things that you see out there from the color palette to the to the font to the materials um you know to the shapes of some of the stuff that he, he makes and he designs it's really it's really de defined you can't really find another brand out there that makes similar items maybe they might make similar items but i don't think they kind of um eschewed a similar sort of aesthetic they don't at all and even these lookbooks they're completely different to anybody else right i don't think anybody else saturates their pictures as much as tyler the creator does on his kind of lookbook pictures maybe the saturation maybe it's the film they use but whatever it's all really well done the models are always great great casting great photography um, everything just looks amazing and again he spoke a little bit about the launch of it and the bittersweet moment he had when he launched it because it also coincided with um, Virgil Abloh's untimely passing obviously um, it's been a month now supposedly I read online which is absolutely crazy man considering how monumental and kind of mind altering that kind of news was when it came on the timeline especially for me having you know having worked with him in a small capacity in the past it's something that really i'm I, i've still kind of struggled to kind of reconcile especially considering how big how large the life of a personality is and his influence and all that and lucky you know i've already spoken about it on a podcast but i thought tyler really spoke about it really well and again I think there's a lesson to be learned from this or a lesson to be gathered um from this clip and hopefully other kids coming up um kind of heed kind of listen to all these stories about Virgil and how he conducted himself and they also kind of play it forward with the people that they speak to or the people they come in communication with and we kind of get rid of this kind of cooler than sort of attitude that exists within this scene of ours right streetwear fashion whatever it is there is this kind of like oh I'm not gonna give you props or I'm not gonna shout you out or I'm not gonna give you the keys or I'm not gonna open the door for you I'm gonna keep you know I mean all this kind of weird sort of um hoarding of resources and connections that exist in this world which i understand why exist because like i've always said I've, you know having worked in brands like nike and adidas in the corporate offices and stuff and tried to again i tried to maneuver in that world and i failed you know dramatically because of course um my personality just doesn't match up well with the people that work there i just wasn't able or willing to do the things needed in order to kind of get forward in life in that situation but um we know why that actually exists <coughs> sorry and the reason why I exist in there is because usually the people that are working in these roles that you want, you know, whether it's a energy marketing director, whatever it may be, they usually know smarter than you or I. They're usually people just that look like you and I. And usually if you get that role, I wouldn't say you got it by chance, but you didn't only get it because you were the best person they could have hired. You were the one that got it at that time because you just got it at that time. There's many people that could have got done that job easily with their eyes closed. So I think once you get that, there is that realization and if anything you want to just protect your position so you don't want to get people in next to you that are better than you or that have potential whatever because you're afraid it's going to diminish your influence and this might make, this might make people question why hire you if i could just hire the young kid that knows way more than you i can pay him less right there's that kind of idea that wrangles but what virgil did which was very rare was that he had a very high position he had he probably ascended the levels of clout higher than anybody else could have uh, ascended to especially when it especially when you think about having people he was friends with because he didn't really have beef with anybody he had friends with fucking everybody right um so with, with that being the case he was the rare one who who at the le the higher he got up the more he started to basically bring other people in 
which is really bizarre from the people that recorded these shows behind the scenes to the stylists to the people that helped out with designs he seemed to give people more opportunities the more successful he became and i think this is even before he maybe got diagnosed with what he got diagnosed with i'm pretty sure it's just how he is as a person so i think that's one of his last legacies and i hope the kids coming up can do away with the old way of doing things that i grew up in which was basically just let's hold it all together let's only bring in my friends nepotism stuff um hoarding of resources just being plain rude and being a bit of a bad mind or bad influence in that regard and just be open to kind of giving everybody the keys and everybody the opportunity to kind of win as well because if we want to change things if we want to build a better future for us and our kids and our further generations i think the way we do it is by just <laughs> coming coming bringing love into the situation love support um compa all that stuff you know what i mean right i think that's the best way to go about things but anyway let's play the clip of tyler talking about it because me rambling is pointless you want to hear tyler and here's tyler talking about how virgil helped him start golf le fleur courtesy of fashion demics oh one second, I don't think it's playing. Whoops, let me just go back there. I don't think I got the settings working on there. Let me just quickly move it. Properties, I think I didn't mess up. There you go. Uh, do, 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 there we go, SWB. Got the wrong one there. I think it should be working now. Bear with me one second. Let's rewind back. And let's play, see if that plays. It was when I like decided like, oh, dude, I think I'm going to do this the floor thing. And what who who really pushed me to do it was my boy, Dev Hines, Solange and Virgil. And I was like, yo, man, I think I want to do this thing. Like, just make really nice stuff. It's a separate world. I don't know exactly, exactly what it is, but I know I want to make pants like this and pieces like this and trunks and just cool shit like Something this. different than what you've been Something doing for, what for I've a been long doing. time. Yeah. And he's like, oh. I, what, what do you need? I'm like, well, I don't even know where to, here, give me a week. Bro, he put me in contact with people in Italy and here and there, emails on calls, like Face FaceTimes with people I don't know, introducing me, all, like, and this was the week that I was going to say, hey, Virgil, what you helped me with, what you got me started with, what your helping hand did, I finally get to show you what you did like and i was like Fuck. i wanted him here so bad to see like hey look what i did because i wanted him to just say fire and i wanted him to be like no like and i always go out of my way to whoever helped me and so i always go out of my way to say like no you don't understand thank you and it was this week where i was gonna finally get send that invite and say hey the day the next day i was gonna send an invite like hey i'm doing something this week come see because he helped me get this here. This material, this material, this sweater is because of him. And I'm just like, ah, oh, all this shit is, I'm just like, dude, fuck. But now I just gotta go super duper. He was about ideas and things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like now. Yeah, man, he's right. He's right. And I guess that's the only kind of hope, I guess, you know that that's the only silver lining i think for the untimely passing of virgil because i said i think a lot of us are still processing it and still coming to grips with it especially considering a lot of people you know maybe felt that they didn't maybe give him the props or his flowers that he deserved at the time that he was alive but i think a great way to honor somebody like that um will be to just follow in their footsteps and it will just be to do what they did for others to up what was what they did for other people you should also do for people in your life and whether it's kind of bigging up people and giving them their props when needed to be i've done it a few times i sent people some dms and be like hey you've been important to my progression and the things i wanted to do and just you know without any expectation or you know entitlement just be like hey i just want to let you know what you did here was important maybe specify a moment and just leave it there just so they're aware so if somebody outside of their kind of remit i've done that whether it's you're in a position to kind of give somebody some keys or some gems or some secrets or open some doors for them do that as well because like i said like virgil ascended the levels of clout ascended levels of fame and success again he wasn't very materialistic in terms of sharing his wealth and whatnot but listen there's no denying the guy was a multi-millionaire from you know psd files and you know fucking around on photoshop and whatnot right 
that's what he was a millionaire from doing the thing that all we all want to want to do right living what you could have what aaron bondaroff said back in the day uh, turning his lifestyle into a job he basically did it right he re reached the the zenith of that even though most people probably didn't think he maybe quote unquote deserve it but he did it and when he got to that level instead of just closing the doors and only leaving it to his friends he extended his arm back and pulled through so many different people who essentially have a career in fashion now basically because of him or that little bit of rub a little bit of shine and he did it again without in without expectation without kind of thinking oh i'm gonna do this and you're gonna be my guy forever no just because he wanted to be a good dude and because he knew also the more you surround yourself with amazing people and you have all these different people who can say hey they can point to you as to being the person that kind of helped them the more it makes you look better and the more it kind of if you if you notice too i realized it a lot of people would have some very critical things to say about his designs or to say about the things he put out there but for the most part people were very conscious to not go overboard when it come to getting at him as a person because there was no way you could because all the evidence pointed out so far again apart from maybe a couple of missteps here and there all the evidence so far pointed that he's a great dude so you, even though you might not like the designs you can't go super overboard with the criticism because he's a great dude he seems to do by he seems to do really he seems to do good by his friends all the time and even if you don't know him he still seems to do good by his friends right there's people sharing dms of him which again i'm not a fan of but there's people sharing dms of him who didn't hardly even know the guy he just sent him a random dm showed him a design and he quickly fired back some critique and some help and you don't know how far that could have helped somebody in terms of where they're going so hopefully that's the lasting legacy and influence that he kind of leaves and people People basically take that on and pay it forward in their own way and we don't regress back to where we were previously like i said like how i grew up in my generation where you know it made me i can even say i'm, I'm even you know honest enough to admit it made me be a little bit um bitter it made me be a little bit um disillusioned with the scene and overall which is why i completely stepped back and basically ran away and did my own thing and removed all communication with most of those people that i kind of grew up with who who basically you know maybe quote unquote showed me the way but the attitudes and the entitlement and the lack of bringing in all this again no one's asking you to do anything for anybody but still there was a lack of that kind of whatever Virgil had that didn't exist back then and I think he, ironically enough the people he had closest to him were the ones who were kind of you know the the ones who basically caused a lot of the issues that we have in our scene in terms of the attitudes and why they weren't going on but again I'm hoping his passing wasn't for nothing and uh, you know everything happens in life for a reason and if the passing of Virgil spawns you know 10,000 other Virgils in their own little scene in their own place in the country in their own place in the world that will be an amazing legacy to leave right that you basically left the legacy where people were more kind and more open and more willing to work with people and open doors and stuff that's an amazing legacy to leave forget forget a hoodie forget a tracksuit pants forget some nike collaborations if you can change people's mindsets and how they communicate with their fellow man and their fellow brothers and sisters out there that's fucking incredible i think so again big up tyler great words and again check out the entire interview on fast company really really good interview um it's again it's a great if you're a fan of tyler the creator interviews this is one of the better ones because at this point of his life like i said i think he's the best version of himself so if you want to gain a bit more understanding of where he's trying to go to and what led up to this moment definitely check that out definitely definitely check that out